everybody and happy Monday start of another crafting week and um, what's in store this week well not that much because I thought um, today I'm going to uh, we're going to draw out for our square tomorrow and so I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow for our slow stitch slow stitch so Tuesday and uh, then I'm going to have the rest of the week off because it's Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving and I'm sure you you know there's so much going on it's you know you've got if those of you got a big meal to cook and a turkey to cook and everything else it'd be all busy busy shopping and doing everything else so I thought that I would uh, do today and tomorrow and then have a few days off um, because it's a good opportunity I think to, for us to have a little bit of a rest uh, because you're all getting ready for Thanksgiving and uh, and then by next Monday next Monday is the 1st of December guys so we will be starting December dailies December dailies am I right next Monday or is it next Sunday Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday, is it? Right, it's Tuesday. I'll tell you why I'm thinking of the 30th is because I'm doing uh, Creating with Jovi. She does a, a collage um, challenge every month and I've not participated before but I fancied doing it this time um, and it's uh, hashtag grateful2020. Uh, a little collage of everything you're grateful for and uh, and that is on the 30th of November so that's why I've got Monday in my brain so next Monday the 30th I will be doing I will be here I will be doing that video and uh, yeah looking at what we're going to be doing for December dailies so it's getting closer so what I'd like you to do uh, if you will in the next couple of days I'd like you all to um, in the comments down below send me your three prompts to go in our this is going to turn from our slow stitch jar into our December daily jar uh, December daily prompts so if each of you send me three prompts of ideas what we've got to use and we'll pick it out every day we'll pick one out and it may for example say use an angel use some dark thread do some stenciling and then somebody else might come up with the idea like uh, make something that looks like a gingerbread house I don't know where that came from <laughs> <laughs> use a safety pin put a bit of tinsel on you know that sort of thing I'll put your name in it and it will go in the prompt jar so we need loads because we've got 24 days worth that I'm doing and um, that'll be nice because we'll just randomly pick out um, I've got in touch with all the other uh, creators uh, that uh, and invited them to be part of the you know the the youtubers that are going to uh, swap three prompts with me they will do a video using my three prompts and i will do a video using theirs so we're going to have those interspersed with picking things out the jar so i think there's lots of exciting things coming up but i can only do it with you guys helping as well because you know it's hard you can see by what i've come up with already <laughs> <laughs> bit of tinsel and a gingerbread house yeah I think I need your help so uh, if you can all send me your three prompts I will then write them down and who they're from and give your name a mention and put them in the jar and if you have got a channel put that on as well um, so we can all um, you know we can all share each other's uh, work okay then so see, seeing as we're speaking about this and we've now sorted out that I can't count uh, we've got two squares left so the two for this oh they came out quick two for this week yo-yos yay Suffolk puffs or yo-yos oh I'm so glad that's come out I love making them and cross stitch wow so this is going to be an exciting week guys making Suffolk puffs yo-yos as some people call them and cross stitch Oh, I'm excited now. Excited. <laughs> so there's the jar. 
what I'll do next week because we'll be getting all the December dailies going in we'll put all the December dailies in here on Monday after we've pulled out the last pulled out the last um, the last pick for our slow stitch project so what I thought we'd do today because it's going to be you know I don't want to make it too long a video but uh, what I'm going to be working on the rest of the week is my uh, renaissance video renaissance video renaissance journal even and uh, I just quickly wanted us to uh, spend a bit of time today looking what ephemera I've already got and where I'm going to put it so I thought we'd just spend a bit of time doing that to be honest so I've got three um three of these pages made now um which are like little fold outs that's the last one I made I don't think you've seen that one but that uh, that's a, a like a tri-fold and we've got that one and then we've got the very first one I made which is the one using low Nola's paper and uh, so let's have a look I've got some uh, paper clips here and I will do something with them later on but I want to put one in each um, one in each signature so uh, let's have a look see what colorways I fancy now then you see that's quite now I wanted it on this side really let's have a look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's going to be stuck together right okay then let's have a look here yeah I think it'd be quite nice here because we've got some red in this we've got some red in this uh, ledger paper and we've got some like a, a ready um, colour in there so that would open out I'm going to pin it on here for now because I may hinge it or I may just leave it pinned but at least if we we found a home for it right okay let's go to the second signature and in this one I'm going to put this so let's have a look what we've got with these sorts of colours but uh, let it go mm -hmm. I think that'll go nice there yeah you think so David yeah yeah so we'll have her on that side because it's a bit of a sky on there you see this is one of our cloud papers and and there's you know the sky and clouds there and I think yeah so she's going to go there and then in the last signature oh there he goes <laughs> there he goes he started chew, throwing his chew about again ready but then he's got distracted because the back door's opening he's gone out in the garden and he's we've got a great big playing field on the back of us where people walk the dogs and so he's got distracted from the chew <laughs> now then what what uh, colours have we got there I don't want to have it opposite a cloud on there because this has got quite a lot of nice pink in this one. Now then, what about there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that goes there because it's next to this pink page. Yeah, so she can go in there. Same. Is it the same woman? Mm. Yeah, I think actually that I remember Rachel saying that these are husband and wife apparently. Oh. And um, <clears throat> so the future a lot in a lot in them so yeah i look nothing like him <laughs> yeah and i haven't got skin like her huh? no. <laughs> right so back to number one then um i've got i've made three envelopes so this one this is where i've used one of the um from Rachel's I said I was going to use the sampler kit and so I have with this nothing in it at the moment but I've put some extra on there to reinforce it 
and uh, put a bit of a cluster on there and then put a tag on there so we can now then what we've got on this page no I think that's over too much that would be too much and we've got here let's have a look Yeah, I think that goes because we've got some lemony colours in there and uh, I might well you know I might sew it and put it in there or I might put some extra stuff down there and have it as a top opener so we'll see how we go so that's that one we will go to number two right so number two is this one again a full sheet from the kit I've lined it a bit inside and put some extra strength on there it's pretty that and then I've used some of my um, snippet trim on that one ah you see that goes nice with that one we'll see no I was gonna say if I do it that way that's too much okay let's see what else we've got so what's see what's next we've got that next um let's see if it goes there i think the colors we've got greens and yellows and lemons together and then on there i quite like that because i think it looks as if that's the you know that's the lid that's the lid the flap <laughs> that's the flat to to you know they say you're opening something interesting there so um yeah for now i think that will be okay there and then again to our last one we have got this music one so this is just a, a full sheet of music reinforced it's got a whale tail tab that uh, that I've got in some stuff that uh, I think it was the inspiration box from uh, Hummingbird not Hummingbird Tales, that's Dina Oak House Journals I've got a bit of a, a label there uh, nothing as yet in there so what we're looking for here so something with a bit of pink and, uh, and grey so we need to be further on I've got that envelope there. Uh, then let's have a look. That's going to be that's going to be a pocket. Now let's see. No, don't like it there. I've got her there. We're in the middle of the signature there. Uh, she's on the next page that's going to be a, a pocket right let's have a look here uh, oh no because we've got that girl there let's have a look what's the thing to it there and that there yeah I think that'll be okay yeah, because we're back to those. Yes, I think we'll have that there. Yeah. No, let's get some more pins out. More paper clips out. Right, okay. So, it, you know, everybody has their own way of doing how they put the ephemera in the journal and everything. Um, because there's a lot of it, I want to put it in after it's now sewn in. Uh, there's only so much that I put in before it's sewn in sometimes otherwise it gets too bulky so now we've got I want to put three pockets in so let's see which is that one and there is that one and that one or oh, could be that one no that one I think so three pockets so we've got I've got her and her rubby again don't know where he's looking out for perhaps she's locked him up and just brings him out on sundays <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> today's monday david you, you've had two days being let loose 
right okay let's uh, let's have a look where I'm going to put my pocket probably something that hasn't got that anything that exciting well, that's cool, but I think that looks good there yeah yeah let's do that there then oh I haven't got a no I don't need it because I'm not using I'm using my art glitter glue so I think we will get away with Of course the planes are that they start coming about again don't they when we they always wait till I'm doing stuff okay so I'm just going to click a little thing out there where was we putting it I've lost my page now it's this one yeah okay there we go i've just done a bit of sewing down this one i can't remember if this is one that i showed you or not but uh, i'm just going to put one of my little clips on it for now in fact i'll put a clip at the bottom mind you these are little clips it might not work it might not just just reached right next next one aren't these doilies pretty they're gorgeous got these from lakelands yeah lakeland mm. because we can't get them easily in the uk the um, you know the tray ones this the rectangle tray ones um but we found them at lakeland and uh right let's have a look as we get further to the back of this one we haven't got so much happening have we well, we've got the last lady, so we've got him. And we haven't got one of them for a while, have we? Mm. That's quite a plain page, but I don't know if it... Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Put that, that down, so... I'm going to do this this time before I put my glue on. Ooh! What's happening here? This has gone all bubbly. It's a new one, this art glitter glue, so it's uh, it's coming out rather fast. Doesn't matter. Now I always now put that, I know I've put that uh, dot on it now there, the uh, clip, thumb hole, I couldn't think of the right word. But um, some of them when I don't, what I tend to do, especially the triangular pockets, I tend to hold where I don't want glue. Because, you know, I, I think we've all been in that position where we've glued bits we don't want gluing. My usual trick. And um, now let me see if these are long enough to hold it on. No. I've got loads of clips there, I just don't know where I've put them all. I've got a box full somewhere. Oh, we'll put that on. That doesn't reach either. <laughs> right. We'll take these two out for next. I don't like putting clips in too much because sometimes they can spoil your paper. Right, the last one we've got here. And I've done a bit of, uh, of a ruffle down there. There's a bit of green on there. So let's have a look what we've got towards the back again I think no don't like her on there I like her there I'm going to put her there So hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had a, a reasonable weekend. And uh, we just did um, the usual. Not much because, you know, as I say, we're, we're, we're still on this uh, national lockdown. Although we're going to hear Boris Johnson's going to be talking to the nation tonight. And... Um, 
telling us what's going to happen when we come out of lockdown on the 2nd of December because we'll be back into various tiers so it depends how high the incidence is in each county as to what tier you put in and what you're going to be allowed to do and I think that's a good idea myself although I think that if everybody's in different tiers for Christmas I think that could cause a bit of a bother you know to me they either relax the rules for everybody for Christmas which I don't think they should relax them too much or else you know we're going to have a lot of deaths in uh, when we get into January or nobody you know they have us all on lockdown I thought I think it won't work if they let so many do it and so many not but we'll see what he's got to say for himself tonight we will see right okay so please with that we need to put three tags in don't we now I've got three three longer tags somewhere here yeah I've got that one ah not dry enough yet what am I doing not dry enough yet that's coming off let's go uh, let's leave the tags for now I've got three there anyway right now then what do I want to do next I've got these so I've done some little little slow stitch snippety bits and uh, I love doing these I like putting these on the edges so let's see how many I've got one two three four five six seven eight perfect two four six well I could put two in each and then see how we go we'll leave that one out let's we'll leave that one out so I think one of that and that together one of that and that together and that and that together righty ho so where I want these down a page hmm I think I like that on there so yeah um yes yeah, so uh, we have been watching that's what we've been doing we've been watching more episodes of the crown uh on netflix and we've not seen any of it we're up to series two now oh and we are enjoying it the acting is superb and actually we're finding out well i certainly i used to love history at school and, and used to um do a lot of british history although the, then we used to have to do the dreadful Napoleonic Wars and oh cracky did they drag on uh, but I love British history and um, especially love the Tudor period and Victorian periods and uh, this series starts when uh, Edward and Mrs Simpson um, so when Edward abdicates because he wants to marry Mrs. Simpson, who uh, is a divorcee from America, uh, the establishment won't allow. So it, that's where it starts. And, and, and his brother then, King George, has to take over the realms and he wasn't really prepared to be king. Uh, And it's just excellent we're really enjoying it the acting is is superb and uh, yeah I like that there and then we want one nearer the back of this signature I think now where's the other one some of these I'm going to cover I think some of these are going to get something covered up put them in but then I'm not sure that uh, I want them yeah I like that there so I, I love doing these little because as you should expect from me with my love of sewing I love to do these little snippet bits and it's a good way to use your scraps and you can just make them in front of the television can't you I mean I've just been doing these I want it down there just been doing these while I while we've been watching Netflix. We did watch the Queen's Gambit. 
Was it the Queen's Gambit? The Knight's Gambit? Somebody's Gambit about chess, I can't remember. That's an excellent, that's excellent series as well. About this girl that's uh, a grandmaster at uh, playing chess. Um, that's very good. We enjoyed that. Right, that's two in the first couple. They're in. First series. I'm having to be a bit delicate with these because these these can soon get spoiled can't they these uh, these doilies are very they're beautiful but they are very um, very delicate now that fastens there now I'm going to put something else on there I think let's have a look at that no, I'm going to break that up with it. Um, so, yeah, wonder what you've all been watching. And uh, it gets a bit addictive, though, this crown, because we're, like, watching three, three hours a night. <laughs> well, some of them are an hour and some are, like, 45 minutes. And um, so when we're having our dinner, let's take my nail varnish off. I'll put some clear nail varnish on. Um, I think glue plays havoc with it doesn't it it's a nuisance um, so yeah oh and I was watching um, Paper Outpost is it Pam from the Paper Outpost um, the lady that's got the I think she's got lovebirds I think they're lovebirds I don't think they're cockatiels I think she's got a couple of lovebirds and she's got a lovely little fluffy doggy on there uh, but she's doing all this clear out of the craft room I don't know why I'm so obsessed with watching people clear the craft rooms out. Um, I'm really enjoying Tina doing hers shabby dabby doo -dah, enjoying hers on a Friday tidy. But uh, I started watching Pam now when she's clearing drawers out and stuff. I don't know if it makes you feel better that you think, oh, well, my drawer's as messy as that. Or, or oh, yeah, I love to see what craft things people have, don't you? I love to see what supplies everybody else has got. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you like me and you want a nosy, uh, Pam, Pam's uh, uh, started clearing hers out, a desk and then something else. And uh, let's see, does that go there? this oh, I think I like it there I think we all have a don't we I mean you'll be same as me you know when 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 crafters make their decisions where they're putting stuff and we're always got our own thoughts and always shouting at television oh I want to put it there I'd have put it there and uh, it's probably no exception with where I choose you think it oh no it did look better on that page and it just shows how we all, this is why I'm looking forward to the prompts for the December dailies because, you know, we're all going to have the same prompts but we're all going to do something different on the page and uh, I think that's exciting. Must be the teacher in me. Well, you know I wasn't it, but I did do a lot of training, a lot of teaching and... Um, now I've got that on my hands. I thought it, that's it, just rub it off. Um, I love to see what people all make with the same, given the same prompt or the same topic. Right, now then, number three. And we have got these two. Uh, let's have a look. I like that at this side actually. I think it's a bit much on that side. I do like it there because it goes with it, but it's not. Yeah. Let me just cut this little. I've still got a bit of a thread left on there. Okay. I thought I'd done loads of ephemera for this, but you start putting it in and you think, well, I haven't done that much really. I 
thing is once you start putting such as this in you that's where you start getting your bulk your bulk from but uh, that's why you know when you've got a good um a good decent spine width starting to get heavy you you know it gives you a chance then to to put more stuff in right so that one is there I want to right. Let's see if that one just wants to come up at this top bit. Do it with my left hand. Ouch! I'm not supposed to clip, clip your hand, Catherine. Right, this one. I mean, if there's anything that wants sewing on the edge of, then I, you know, on the sewing machine, I do then do it first before I get the signatures sewn in. Um, oh, thank you. My helping hand came in then. Yes. Removed a bit of fluff. There we go. Okay. That's going to be nice there. And then there's a couple uh, one more thing I want to put in. I want to put in these um, little booklets. So I've got three little booklets with just some scrappy scrap. Okay, so I just want to uh, put these little booklets in and uh, then we'll call it a video. And uh, I'll tell you what, no, we'll put the tags in first because they should have dried now. So where did we put those tags? The pockets, should I say? We're putting the tags in, aren't we? It's a pocket. Where is it? I've had, I've had a cup of tea and uh, a bite to eat since I put them pockets in, so... I can't remember off the top of my head where they are. Let's come over two pages. I think we only put one in each, didn't we? Hmm. There, we there we go. Which one do we fancy for there? Yeah, I'm going to put that one in. Go. Might be a little bit. No, it's still coming underneath the. Uh, it's still coming underneath the edge of the uh, the cover. So uh, this is number two. Just sing. Just sing amongst yourselves. It was carpenters, wasn't it? Singer songs. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, got it. So that one will be nice in there. Yes, like that. And then we'll just go to the last one. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to call her Anne, so she's got A for Anne. don't know what her name is really, but that would be nice. Oh, I like that, because that goes lovely with that background there. Great, now while we're here, where shall we put... Nice to have a pocket. I'm just going to pin these in, because I think I need a couple of pockets. A couple more pockets to put them in, so that's one in there. In the same place. Yeah, she goes nice there. So Daisy. 
And then in book number one, and that's got one of those on it. So, yeah, that can go on that side then in book one. Signature one. I keep picking up ones that are all tied together. Don't they annoy your paper clips when they do that? They'll tangle up in a string. Okay then, so there we go. It's starting to look nice. Nice and uh, nice and full. I suppose we don't want to put too much in it so that it's too much of a gay to mouth. So yeah, I don't think there's too much more to go in. I'm not happy with that. We've got all these left yet. So I think that probably by the time we put those in, it'll be, uh, be you know, nicely finished put this back in the glue so thank you for joining me uh, have a lovely week happy Thanksgiving day um, but I'm going to see you tomorrow so that I can I can wish you that tomorrow can't I so see you tomorrow for sewing Tuesday and uh, yeah don't forget we've got yo-yos Suffolk puffs and we've got cross stitch excited about that anyway thanks for joining me bye